Well, Senator Amy Klobuchar has announced that she will be entering the race for the White House in 2020. Klobuchar spoke to a snowy crowd Sunday at Boom Island Park in Minneapolis, where she declared that she will be joining the growing field of Democratic candidates seeking to unseat President Donald Trump. Reporter Rachel Johnson has more. Hundreds of people filled Boom Island Park in Minneapolis Sunday afternoon in anticipation for a big announcement from a U.S. Senator from Minnesota, Amy Klobuchar. <laughs> Amid the snow, Klobuchar entered the stage and announced to the crowd that she will be running for president in 2020. I stand before you as the granddaughter of an iron ore miner as the daughter of a teacher and a newspaper man, as the first woman elected to the United States Senate from the state of Minnesota, to announce my candidacy for president. Klobuchar spoke to the crowd detailing her decision as well as topics that she will focus on throughout her campaign. I'm running for every worker, farmer, dreamer, and builder. I am running for every American. I am running for you. Klobuchar touched on a variety of topics from gun control to health care to criminal justice reform. I am not afraid to join the vast majority of Americans to stand up to the gun lobby and put universal background checks She hit on climate change and announced a plan to rejoin the International Climate Agreement if elected. In the first 100 days of my administration, I will reinstate the clean power rules and the gas mileage standards. Though the 2020 presidential election is over a year away, Klobuchar joins a growing list of Democrats seeking the nomination to oppose President Donald Trump. We are tired of the shutdowns and the showdowns, of the gridlock and the grandstanding. Today, on this snowy day on this island, we say enough is enough. Reporting from Minneapolis, Rachel Johnson, Lakeland News. Amy Klobuchar is the first politician from Minnesota to run for president of the United States since Tim Pawlenty and Michelle Bachman ran early on in the Republican primary in 2012. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.